Welcome back to the Cross Robotics video blog series where we talk about some of the options and features of a universal robot. I'm here in the Cross Robotics work area and this is where we make it all happen from your proof of concepts to the starting points of your light integration projects. But today we're going to talk about a very helpful feature of the universal robot, how to change your mounting configuration. So this could be used in a multitude of ways. It may be that you need to mount the robot on a 90 degree angle on the side of a machine. Maybe you need to invert mount the robot to really maximize your reach capabilities. Whatever that reason, we're gonna show you how to do it today. So we're gonna invert mount this Universal Robot UR3 and go over the steps that we have to take to make that happen. Okay, so now that we've got our mounting platform set up and physically mounted to our pedestal, it's just a matter of mechanically installing the robot. And this is something that, especially with the larger units, you're going to want to get some help on and have somebody give you a hand holding the robot as you put the screws in to fix it into position. So now with the robot securely mounted mechanically, we just need to get onto the teach pendant to change the mounting configuration in the software and let the robot know that it's invert mounted. From the main robot programming screen, the first thing that we need to do is select the installation tab. Once selected, we need to ensure that we have selected mounting to have the screen shown now. On the right side of the screen, you'll notice a few different automatic mounting configurations. We'll select the invert mounted, but as you see on the side of the screen and on the bottom, this can be completely customizable. From here, we'll need to go back to the main installation screen to initialize our robot. We'll select on and then go through standard booting procedures to get our robot up and running with the new mounting configuration. So once we made the changes in our robot installation file and then reinitialized the robot, I created a simple four waypoint program just to have the robot moving around. Now programming the robot from an invert mounted scenario is just the same as you would from a standard mounting configuration. So the next time you're considering a robot application and you're looking at reach requirements, think about how easy it was to change the mounting configuration of the universal robot. So we appreciate you taking the time to watch the video today. Check us out at crossrobotics.com and please let us know if there's absolutely anything that we can do for you.